Hey there everyone, hope you are doing great. This is our first video in the series of TypeScript. In this video, we are going to talk about what and why TypeScript. So let's move further and talk about TypeScript. So we'll be starting with what is TypeScript. So TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript, meaning it all contains the functionality of JavaScript as well as some extra features. So any program that is valid in JavaScript is also expected to run in TypeScript, but not the vice versa. In fact, TypeScript compiles simply to the plain JavaScript at the end, we'll see how. But TypeScript offers more control over the code via type annotation and some static type checking. We'll see this later. So let us move on to next pointer we have that is who and why they created TypeScript. So for that, we have Microsoft. Microsoft created TypeScript in 2012 after their two years of development of TypeScript. So why they created TypeScript was because they built very, very large complex application and they were having very much trouble to handle code with the JavaScript of a, such a large size application. So they built TypeScript for their internal teams at first for their own projects actually but later on they open source it and everybody uses it to build their own projects. We'll see what are the features later on one by one that makes TypeScript an awesome language. So let us move, move to our next pointer that is big giants using TypeScript. Of course, Microsoft, the organization that built it are using their language in their projects heavily. Next on is Slack and many more. Slack is a messaging platform that is heavily used by the organization for their internal communication and there are many more other big organization that you they are using typescript for their applications so let us deep dive more into typescript and understand how it is different from javascript and how javascript play an important role in typescript also so for that we need to consider a picture of typescript so we have TypeScript and from the previous slide we know TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript. So basically this part you are seeing is the extra added features that Microsoft had built in. So we have JavaScript then Microsoft had built this part of features and they have added this to JavaScript and made a new language called known as TypeScript. So TypeScript is not a new language itself building from the scratch, but it's a built upon language on JavaScript. So it is basically JavaScript with some extra features. So as you see, JavaScript have some amazing features as well as TypeScript also provide some many amazing features which make our tasks for building very complex application in an easier manner and very organized manner. So you could ask why shouldn't we neglect JavaScript and why shouldn't we use TypeScript in our project? We are doing that. But later on, there is a very big problem that we have everywhere. That is browser don't support TypeScript. So ultimately we need to bring down the TypeScript code to the JavaScript and that JavaScript is used to run in the browser or any other environment like node. So TypeScript could not be understand by the browser. So we need to compile or say we say transpile this TypeScript code to JavaScript, which in turn runs in the browser or environment like node. We have other concepts like WebAssembly, which brings down the higher level languages that we understand and we proficient in writing that higher level languages to the JavaScript and that JavaScript runs in the browser. So this field of WebAssembly is a R&D kind of thing as of now, but TypeScript does the exact kind of thing that we write something in TypeScript and we transpile it to JavaScript and in turn that JavaScript runs in the browser. So let's see how it works. So consider we are having a TypeScript app that is printing hello world on the console. Every programmer do this at the beginning. So we need to bring this 
the app.ts to app.js ultimately to run in the browser. So as you can see, these have different extensions. This is ts, this is js. So there needs to have some process in between to bring this down. So that is done by TypeScript compiler that we have. So ultimately what we do, we write this TypeScript file app with some awesome features of TypeScript as well as JavaScript. Then we compile this TypeScript file using TypeScript compiler which give in turns a JavaScript file. So ultimately this JavaScript file is run in the browser and we'll see how. We'll set up an environment for TypeScript in our local machine. We'll set up a, a TypeScript compiler and we'll transpile down the TypeScript file to JavaScript file in the further upcoming videos. So this was the overall process of converting a TypeScript file to JavaScript file. Hope it is clear what is TypeScript and which companies are using it and who built it and why. So let us move on to the further video.